so this is Boss of Blades, and this is my first ever cooking video in response to Asmongold's $2 pizza video. He used the Totino's Pizza Party Pizza here. It's the pepperoni that he used because the combination was more money. But uh, we went to our favorite grocery store. They actually had the combination party pizza, and they were buy one, get one free. So we actually have a second party pizza that we'll be making as well because we get to cook both of them. Then we, of course, have some mozzarella cheese. And because we're not some homeless person who cooks pizza for $2, we got the best mozzarella cheese with Tillamook mozzarella. And, of course, instead of Hormel pepperoni, we got some boar's head pepperoni. And we also have some oregano that was in the recipe. We did actually get the store brand oregano. But we're also gonna kick it up with a McCormick Italian blend seasoning to uh, add some extra pizzazz to it. And then we're gonna add one more ingredient by adding some Asiago cheese. Then we got this uh, deep dish Chicago pan that we're gonna cook them in. So let's go ahead and uh, open these Totinos up. Beautiful pizza, totally, totally fine thing to be cooking. Part of every gamer's diet, gotta have some pizza. And then have another pizza. It doesn't actually fit in our pan perfectly, but we can make it work. Just push it down, whatever. And then we got the pizza in the pan. Throw these away. Probably look at the cooking instructions a little bit. It's like we're doing 450 for uh, 11 to 13 minutes. Uh, we are going to actually do 14 minutes because we're doing two pizzas. So we're going to preheat our oven to a temperature of 450 degrees. And it's going to take seven and a half minutes to be able to do that. Now, he said that you're supposed to do the oregano first, and then later said that you're not supposed to do the oregano first. We're gonna do the oregano first. Because uh, seasoning here is a, probably a good idea. Throw some oregano in there. We don't really measure. And we have the oregano. And then we're gonna put some mozzarella cheese. Nice big chunks of mozzarella cheese that we got here. Straight from Wisconsin. Thank you, Wisconsin. You make the best cheese. That is not subjective, that's totally true. Anyone that says otherwise. That's all they have, they have cheese and beer. And I guess the Packers, I think. And then we have our pepperoni. Now before we do the pepperoni, we are gonna put our secondary seasoning on. Just gonna have a bunch of pepperoni though. Get ready. We have some Italian herb seasoning. And it's actually variable seasoning. We are keeping on the lowest setting. put some pepperoni on it to cover it with some greasy goodness this pepperoni is actually very greasy but it actually has a nice consistency to it Just gonna use enough pepperoni to coat it. It's about 12-ish slices, give or take. The other one is a little bit more covered. Kind of want to put a little bit 
more on that one then. And that's a tiny pepperoni that can go over here. And then we are going to put a couple more just uh, in the metal pieces, coat it in some more pepperoni. And finally, we have one more ingredient, which is going to go on top of the pepperoni, and that is some aged Asiago cheese. And that's going to go on top of our pepperoni here. Right. Should be enough cheese here. A little bit. Enough to coat it pretty well. And that is gonna do it for now. We got another three minutes or so for preheat to end. So we're gonna work on putting away a couple of our ingredients here. And probably grab ourselves some water. Super hot here in Florida. And then we got our pizza ready. Let's go in the oven. For 11 to 13 minutes, but we are going to be doing 14 minutes. Why 14 minutes? We have two pizzas here, so we need uh, a little bit more time probably for it to crisp up. And 14 minutes should be pretty adequate for both pizzas to cook evenly. And I like my pizza a little bit on the crispier side, especially with all the cheese that we have on top of it. We're actually going to not give it a final at 14 minutes. We probably will give it an extra one minute on top of that. But we're going to check it at 14 minutes to make sure that everything is cooked properly. And how do you think this is going to compare using the same type of ingredients but higher quality? Uh, well, Asmund Gold isn't a chef, and I'm not a chef, but I can at least cook. And I actually did cooking for a grocery store where they offered samples. I actually had to make the recipes and prepare it, but a lot of the time I actually put my own spin on stuff, and the people actually were very excited about my recipes compared to the other people doing it because I made it better. And how do you think it's going to differ using an actual oven rather than a uh, roaster pan? Well, a roasting pan is weird. We're using an actual pizza pan made for deep dish pizza. You could probably stack about four of these together and just make like a pizza lasagna if we really wanted to. That'd isn't, be really cool. Isn't that kind of like what deep dish is? Yeah, it's a deep dish pan, so I could literally just stack a couple pizzas on top of this and make basically a deep dish version of it. We'll see how this comes out, and then we might try that. Cause we have plenty of pizzas right now in the freezer. We stocked up with the sales. How many pizzas you got in the freezer? Uh, let's go see. Uh, here's a pizza. We got one pizza, two pizzas, three pizzas. We got four more pizzas here that we have in our freezer. Oh, so you took the Asmund Gold Pizza Challenge really seriously. Well, they were buying going free. I'm not going to not buy buying going free. Wait, what's that? You have more pizza? But, no, there's not more pizza. What is that? Tortino's Pizza Rolls. Oh, there's pizza rolls. We're not putting the pizza rolls on the pizza. That doesn't make any sense. Wow, so you got more pizza. I like pizza. What do you want? I'm from New York. Who doesn't like pizza? One New Yorker would be without pizza. All right, so what are we doing now? Uh, we're probably cleaning up the area a little bit. We've got about 30 seconds. Clean kitchen is a happy kitchen. So you're actually cleaning the kitchen. Well, a little bit. You've got to get rid of some of the ingredients that fell over. All right. And our preheat is over. And there's the beep. 
So we're going to go ahead and put this in for 14 minutes. Search. And we're going to hit bake. And we're going to hit start time. Timer set. That's it. Timer set. And we're doing 14 minutes. And we have 14 minutes to kill to find out how this Pizza done yet? Uh, it's almost done. Wait for the ding. Oh, there we go. Okay, pizza's done. Right. Safety first. We got our gloves on. Let's take our pan out. Look at that. We got two dollar buy one get one free. Pizza, pepperoni, crisps up, nice like that. Deep dish pan. Turns out that's pretty good. Let's get one glove on over here. And since we did our unique putting one on top of the other, let's go for plating. Let's try and get this. Let's try and get the one that's on top of, off first. There's one. There we go, we got some scissors. Uh, gotta use these scissors. So we're gonna cut our pizza up with some scissors. Nice crackle. Crunchy goodness. Just falls right off the plate. That'll be the tasting one. See how it is. Go over to the cameraman. Scissors are very good for cutting pizza. It makes it uh, good gamer food. Finger food is picking it up. Delicious. Oh, I mean, who doesn't have a pair of scissors? How else will you get the handcuffs off? Leave the other size cut. Probably should turn my oven off. There we go. It's already out fire outside. I don't want it to be in fire in here. Sideways cuts. Make sure there's probably about at least a little bit of the piece of pepperoni on each piece. Equal distribution. Alright, so now we're all cut up. And let's go ahead, take a nice big piece here and just give it a taste. Pepperoni, it's very crispy. Gasiago gives it some bite. The mozzarella, perfect. It's very hot though. You can see the pepperoni, it doesn't stay greasy. It actually just 
It's very crispy. Very good. Totino's Pizza, but big upgrade. Mm. Very good pizza. We're going to go make four more of these probably with the ones I got in the freezer. Okay. You want to try this, cameraman? Yeah. All right. Blow. Blow on it. It's really hot. Oh. Very hot. Mmm, hot. Why? I told you to blow mm. on it. You didn't blow on it. It's good. Is it good? Is it better than usual? Yeah, I know. It tastes way better. Mmm. Asiago cheese. Oh, it's hot. Asiago cheese. It's good, though. Asiago cheese. I can still tell that's a Totino's pizza. But Asiago cheese. But, yeah. About to have me another crispy, very crispy. And yeah. We did an extra minute yeah. to give it the extra crisp. Yeah, yeah. How drew it? Um, in terms of frozen pizza, ten out of ten. In terms of New York style pizza, you're murdered. In terms of Italian pizza, every Italian grandma in the world is coming after you. But in the meantime, you have a nice crispy pizza that costs. Probably make ten of these for like ten dollars. All right, anyone say to Asmigol? Diablo Four sucks. About the pizza? Oh yeah, uh, Diablo Four sucks. <laughs> uh, no, the pizza. You gotta put some Asiago cheese. Make it a lot better. Get it. Uh, it'll help to make the pepperoni crisp up more. And if you use a higher quality pepperoni than your your Hormel pizza your Hormel pepperoni, it'll give it, uh, instead of a greasy consistency where you have to wash your hands afterwards, you'll see my hands pretty clean actually after eating some pizza because my pepperoni just got crispy. The uh, lower quality pepperonis have a greasy oily consistency. The higher quality pepperonis, they don't have that. They have, uh, there's more care in their preparation so they want it being more sustainable. And also, if you're making pizza at 2 in the morning, it's 6 o'clock. At least it's dinner time here. You need to fix your life. Why do you live like a homeless person, yet have multiple millions of dollars? I basically am a homeless person, and I cook better. <laughs>